There's always going to be, anyways, someone better than us, always. So you should just focus on yourself, on your goals, and your daily life, and your loved ones also, to continue loving your loved ones and take care of yourself. Yeah. Hi, Clats. My name is Sharon Castini. This is my Get to Know Me with Clats. Food and God. <laughs> um, absolutely excited, to be honest. I was very honored, to be honest, um, that my work was chosen by Glenn. And my work wasn't just only exhibited, but I was also part of the curating for the Millennium Center. So yeah, it was an absolutely honor. One superpower. Mm. To try and be myself always. Because sometimes I get lost in my own head and it's quite hard to be yourself in our day and age, I think. You know, social media influence, peer pressure, so it will literally be to be myself. This is actually from my mother's side. Um, it's going to be cassava leaf. I never cook it and it's so delicious, so good and super healthy as well. I don't. <laughs> I don't balance. That whole thing people talk about, work-life balance, I think it's a myth, to be honest. For those who have achieved it, congratulations, well done to you. But I'm still working on it. I'm probably going to be working on it for the rest of my life. So there is no balance. I just make it as I go and I try to enjoy every moment. Okay, so I, was, I wasn't born in Greece. I was raised in Greece. I moved there when I was four. I moved in the UK when I was 20. I initially came to the UK to study and I was supposed to leave after my studies, but I got stuck, to be honest. I end up loving Cardiff. I love the people, I love the culture. Even the way people talk here, it sounds like they're singing and they're always happy. What I like the Welsh people is they always go like, you're right, love, <laughs> and they're very friendly. I worked for them in 2020. I was hired on my final year at uni. And um, I actually didn't believe it, to be honest. I applied for the job and I was like, ah, the other people may be better than me. But eventually I got hired, me and some of my other classmates. Um, it, was, it was brilliant, it was a great experience, to be honest. A hard work, not gonna lie, 11 hours on set, but it was awesome. So why? Um, I created the creative plug because as an artist myself and a creative practitioner, I've always wanted a space to be myself, a space to explore, a space to showcase my work. Um, even though I haven't had the opportunity to actually do a solo exhibition for myself yet. But I, the fact that I wanted that platform, I knew other people wanted it as well. And it all stemmed from actually the Alienated Magazine, which is more of a digital platform. So the creative blog is just the physical platform, basically. I would have started earlier if I wasn't so afraid of myself and what people would say. We made it. <laughs> We're still making it. We're still in the process of it. Um, just get with the flow.